If the Reds, you're going to want them to last an entire one. We've got problems on track, Lee. Spencer Piggott. Spencer Piggott is in trouble. Now he finally gets the fuzzy Chevrolet going. What okay. happened there? He's all, definitely off. Tires all dirty and muddy, so he was definitely off the racetrack somewhere. He turned that Firestone black into a Firestone yellow. Let's see what happened. Oh, he got ran off. I don't Looks know. Like, no. That's DeMello, who was very racy just a lap earlier with Ray Hall. Here comes Piggott up the inside. Oh, jeez, look at that. DeMello just keeps going. Wow, what that a was, move. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. <laughs> nice slide. DeMello continues. There goes Piggott. So far, it looks like both cars will be able to continue without like hitting. A, like a scene out of the Fast and the Furious movie. Something. Tokyo Drift. Rail slide. He might be from Montreal, but that was Paul Tracy-esque. That was pretty cool. That's how it looked from Graham Rahal's view. I'm not sure what happened in the previous corner between Piggott and DeMello, but Piggott really wanted to force it up there with authority. I'm not sure that was a... So this was the situation with Piggott. Nice clean pass up the inside a couple laps ago, but then I think Piggott tries to stay with him and returns the favor. But, you know, that next corner, that next chicane is really single groove, and we'll see it again. Piggott with a run. Gets up the inside, but really not all the way up the inside. I'm not sure that DeMello knew he was there. And I'm sure DeMello was thinking all the way